Hello, I would like to invite you to the first dance lifestyle cup that will happen in, in Italy in March. Please see my website danzalavita.com. Looking forward to see you. Hello everybody and welcome to lesson number 10. Uh, I left you with um, some practice to do in order to understand what I was talking about on lesson number 9. Um, talking about the usage of a standing leg. And I repeat, standing means that we are going to use something, is active leg. And uh, not standing because we are not moving. So, and I was trying to explain a little bit um, about leverage as much as I can do with this technology. Um, but I think, you know, I hope I that interested you a little bit and you research how leverage work. Um, because today I'm going to uh, go a little bit more in details um, on how we can use leverage and what order. Um, in our leg, that we have two main leverage in, uh, in each leg, which is the femur and the tibia, uh, how can we use fully in order to create um, a full um, powerful action, you can call it, but you know, full, in, uh, when we say full, we mean that we you filling up all the music with movement, that you're not waiting. Uh, until the music uh, is finished. All this section that I'm talking about is happening between beat. For example, when a foot touch the floor, you will see now that I will explain to you with the, my PowerPoint, when a foot touch the floor, there is it's like a note on the pentagram, touch the floor from this moment to this moment before the next note, there is time. In that time, you have to do the action that I'm actually trying to explain to you. So, in some dances, it's very fast, in some dances, it's much slower, but the, the goal of a good dancer is to fill up the music with movement. And as I, um, I said that again, we are talking about a specific movement today is leg action. There is other movement, but right now it's only leg action. So I hope this can help you, um, and let's do it, let's have a look. Okay, as discussed um, on lesson number 9, we continue now with the, a little bit more complex, because um, we have to remember that we have leverage, there, there is some swinging leverage and some metronomic leverage. Okay, we, we left on lesson 9 in this uh, walk forward and walk back situation. But now let's look at this um, situation here. I design a man and a lady. They're going to travel in, in this direction from left to right of the screen. And um, I also break the leg in two different colors. You see red and uh, green. And assuming that um, we are only looking at the leg that receives the weight, so the moving leg already touched the floor, and now we have to put the weight on this moving leg. They become basically now from this point on will become the standing leg or the uh, active leg, the leg that actually help us to move. And uh, in order to do that, is uh, I know we have only four bones, okay, two shin bone and two femur, um, to coordinate. But it's quite complex because the amount of movement and the timing of it become very, very, very important. Uh, so, for example, if I if I break this in few slides, when I do when I go on the foot, like um, I bend the leg and I go on the foot, we are the lady which is going back. 
she's gonna use metronomically the femur so the femur this represent the knees and this represent the hip so metronomically that bone will move together with this shin bone of the man so these two green will be the first action that's gonna happen in order to go on the foot while this shin bone and this femur will not move at all they will stay in the same as i wrote here fixed position and I, i'm gonna leave these two picture here for you to see so if you see i first slide forward and you see now the first movement I repeat it. If you look, the red femur, sorry, femur and the red shin bone are not moving while the, blue, the green one to go on the foot are moving. So this person going back has to move this in a metronomic action, and this person going forward has to move the shin bone in a metronomic action. So we arrive at this point and now we have to go out from this leg. At this point many times we make mistake and we are bending the knees so we are sitting down. Well this is actually the moment where we have to start using the red line in a metronomic action. Where we cannot use anymore the green, can you see you now if I use more this I will sit down so if this come down here I will sit down and here is impossible that I can move more the shin bone down this tendon that is around here you know it's gonna lift the heel and of course it's possible to lift it but it's gonna damage basically my leg so at this point I have to come out and the responsibility is for the for the lady or the man going back now here is this shin bone need to move into this position metronomic action so that it's moving back and the femur is moving forward but in the metronomic so the two fixed point is the the ankle and the knees here and you will see now if you look at the green stay the same and that we basically finish the usage of our standing leg from receiving the weight to sending the weight out from the leg I'll show you again So now, we, when we break the knees, which is that's what we need, we have this kind of situation, metronomic and fixed, and we have to organize it properly. So as you see, green is the, most, the one that's moving now. And now that we are on the foot, so the center of balance is on the foot, to come out, the leverage to use is here, this one they can actually send the body there okay and not going down we need to move it metronomically that way and this shimbon need to move metronomically there like you see in the section here i hope this video helped you um, I believe that you need to really understand leverage first, so study some physics and how to use leverage. Then walk your choreography and try not to bend the leg, to not to go up and down if possible, so you learn how to use the leverage, a full leg. Then step number two, learn how to use this mechanic that I explain you on lesson number 10. Um, but but um, don't think this uh, is a miracle. Now you understand and you're gonna be the master. Um, if you learn all this, you will increase your range of movement and therefore more problem will arrive, obviously. But uh, then you start dealing with lead and follow timing, position um, to each other. Uh, so it can become very complex. Uh, I'm trying to make it simple, but uh, 
I hope you know that you, you have some clarity. When people say use your leg, now you should think, okay, I use my leg, meaning I use my leverage in order to drive my, my center, my body, my weight uh, in the direction uh, where I want to go. Okay, so remember the most important thing, you need to practice, you need to practice, you need to practice. Have fun, ciao!